Welcome to your Psychology One course with Florida Virtual School. Psychology One is a one-segment half-credit course surveying the histories, theories, and practice of modern psychology. This course introduction will ensure you have all the tricks and tools necessary for ultimate success from your first day onward. When you first log into the course from your dashboard, the homepage is divided into two main areas. The left side of the screen is your toolbars for accessing lessons and assessments, checking your email, and other course information we'll see shortly. The right side of the screen includes links to the modules of the course. Psychology 1 is divided into six modules, each covering a specific topic. Module 1 is an introduction into the basic methods of psychology and a brief history of its founding theorists. Module 2 delves into the inner workings of our brain and how our nervous system controls our body, behaviors, and thoughts. We will explore how little kids turn into big kids and big kids grow into adults in Module 3's overview of developmental psychology. Module 4 examines how we remember and forget and will present some tips on how to study more effectively and efficiently based on how our brain processes information. Module 5 reviews the symptoms of various psychological disorders as well as the various therapy styles to treat and maintain mental health. Finally, as we explore social psychology in Module 6, we'll consider how to explain other people's behaviors and why we behave the way we do when we're around other people. You can access any of the modules from the course homepage or navigate to them within the lessons of a module. Once you click on a module from the homepage, you're taken to the first lesson of that module. Each module is divided up into eight lessons which present the content of the course. Each lesson is further divided into an introduction page, a lesson page, and an activity page. Use the left and right arrows to navigate through the interactives and articles until you reach the activity or assessment for the lesson. These assessments are where you will earn most of your points for your course grade. Assessments include multiple choice quizzes, hands-on labs, and a variety of interesting activities designed to help you understand and remember the important ideas of each lesson. Likewise, there are several discussion-based assessments throughout the course. These are phone calls where you will speak directly with your instructor to clarify any questions you have and explore the course material in more depth. Before you begin an assessment or activity, be sure to click the grading rubric link where you will find a complete breakdown of how you will be graded for that activity. For example, when I click on the grading rubric link for the assessment in lesson 1.05, the chart tells me exactly how to earn the most points possible. Click on the blue toolbar labeled Assessments on the left hand side of your screen and you will find the student submission links for all the assessments, quizzes, and exams in the course. This is your to-do list with all the assessments for the course and where you will submit your work to your instructor. When you click on an assessment to complete it, you are taken to the student submission screen. For example, you will conduct a survey in Lesson 1.03 and this is where you will submit your procedure and results to your instructor. You can either attach a file or write your text directly in the student comments section of the page. If you're attaching a file, please make sure to save it either in a Microsoft Word, Excel, or PowerPoint format, or the Universal RTF, Rich Text Format, as these are the only file formats your instructor can view. Once you are ready to send an assessment to your instructor, make sure you click the Submit for Grading button. Assessments are graded within 48 hours of submission, and you will find your graded work in the Gradebook toolbar. Your gradebook acts as your binder, where you can always refer back to previous assessments for review. Please do not use periods when naming files. For example, simply name a file 203 or 2 underscore 03 rather than 2.03 as these periods create problems for the system and your assessment may not attach correctly. There is a multiple choice exam with 20 questions at the end of each module. To make sure you're prepared to do your best, complete the module exam review in the last lesson of the module. While these are not graded assessments, they highlight all the important information within the module. Some past successful students suggest reading and printing out these reviews before going through the modules to better organize note taking and make sure you find all the critical details that will be covered on the exams. Once you complete all six modules, you are eligible to complete the comprehensive segment exam, your last assessment of the course. To best prepare for this exam, there is also a complete course review in Lesson 6.07. One of the most important factors to your success in any virtual school course is making sure you stay on pace to finish within your designated schedule. 
The pace charts found in the course information toolbar are the perfect guides to plan your work as you prepare for the course. Once on the course information screen, click on the word pace and you're taken to the links for the pace charts. The most common pace is the traditional pace, where you will complete about 5% of the course each week and finish Psychology 1 in 18 weeks, very similar to a semester in traditional school. The pace charts simplify your planning as they tell you exactly what you need to complete each week to maintain successful progress. Print or copy your chart and write in the dates you will complete each week's assessments and keep this chart with your Psychology 1 notes. Not only does the pace chart give you a perfect plan of what you need to accomplish each week, there's just something satisfying about checking off the work you've submitted. One of the best parts about virtual school is that while you must maintain the traditional pace to remain active in the course, there are no penalties for working beyond these goals each week and finishing faster. Every assessment you submit is one step closer to your course completion, and the more time you can dedicate to the course, the faster you will achieve your completion goal. Virtual school is a fantastic way to earn high school graduation credits, but as the captain of your course, you have some special responsibilities to make sure your ship stays afloat. Make sure you submit your required number of assessments each week to stay on pace and moving towards your completion goal. Communication with your instructor is one of the most essential elements to your virtual school success. Make sure to contact your instructor each week. Weekly contact could be a phone call, a text message, or an email conversation. As your instructor, our job is to make sure you have everything you could possibly need to be successful in Psychology 1, and the more we know, the better we can help you. Likewise, be sure to schedule monthly calls with your parent or guardian and your instructor. These calls are required, or you may get locked out of the course. We are available daily from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. to answer your questions, schedule discussion-based assessments, and help out any way we can. We also offer a range of live sessions each month, including drop-in help sessions, collaborations, and presentations of fascinating topics in psychology. Check your instructor's announcement page for monthly calendars of events. If you haven't done so already, contact your teacher to schedule a welcome call with you and a parent or guardian. The welcome call is an opportunity to introduce ourselves, answer any questions you and your family may have about the course, and learn how to better tailor the course to your best needs. Psychology is about exploring our behaviors and thoughts, so now it's time for you to start your exploration. On behalf of all the instructors with Florida Virtual School, welcome to Psychology One.